Hi guys, Tammy here. For my last video, I will be demonstrating how to properly put on PPE. Um, before anything, I will make sure to go over the protocol and the policy for this procedure. Make sure to do the correct hand washing and make sure to have gathered all my materials. Um, I am going to be demonstrating how to put it on and put it off, but I do want to point out that if you were going to an, into a patient's room, you do have to do your introduction. You have to check their badge, making sure that you have the correct patient. And you have to be aware of why you're gowning up, why you're using this protective um, equipment. And you have to know particularly why and what the cost is because you have to make sure that you're using the correct one. Also, besides making sure that you're using the correct one, you want to make sure that you can answer uh, the patients and their family's questions and make sure that they're also doing uh, the, per the correct PPE for themselves when visiting and um, just so that they can know exactly what is going on and why you're suited up and why they got to be suited up too okay so first of all i'm going to make sure to do it in the correct order i do have to improvise with some stuff that i have at home so i'm just going to be verbalizing a lot first of all you have to make sure that you put on your gown now your gown has to be it's going to be this way you're going to put it on like this just like this and you're going to make sure that you tie it at the neck and tie it at the back. Should the should the gown be too small, you should wear two. One, wear it as a coat, just like you would put on a coat, tie it in the front. And the regular one would be um, just like this, tie it from the front. I mean, put it on from the front, tie it at the neck, and then tie it at the back. Okay, once you have your gown on, you want to make sure that you put on your um, your mask. Your mask has to cover you up pretty good. It has to cover up your mouth, your nose. And you have to tie it up just like this. Okay, so then you tie it up just like that. You fix it up, make sure that you're covered up. I'm gonna put it down just because I'm pretty sure I can't be heard correctly, but I'm verbalizing. This is how you should put it on. It should be on good and snuggled, not loose not too tight just like that so i'm gonna verbalize that i'm gonna take it off so that you can continue to hear me okay but just pretend that i'm gonna continue to have it on okay after you put on your mask you want to go ahead and put on your goggles which in this case i'm gonna use my glasses there you go so now you have your goggles you have your your mask remember i'm verbalizing that i'm having it on but i'm just not going to be able to talk as well with that with, the, with it on Okay, so after that, you wanna make sure to put on your gloves. Now, per usual, just make sure that you, neither you or your patient are allergic to latex. That's something to be really mindful of. Okay, so the way you put your gloves on is just like this. You wanna make sure that you tuck the, the gown right underneath, just like that. You're kind of tucking it in like that. The point is to not have any exposure. You wanna be as covered as possible. So the same thing for the other glove. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and make sure that the um, that the gown goes underneath. So there you go. I'm verbalizing that the gown goes underneath. This sweater's a little thick, so it's not really going in there that good, but you have to make sure that the gown goes underneath your glove cuff like this, okay? So once you have done all of this, if you, should you need any protection for your feet, that's when you put it on. Should you need anything for your head, um, any headwear, those nets that you have to wear when you go into uh, isolations and rooms that need PPE, that's when you would put that. That's why it's so important. <laughs> Sorry. That's why it's so important that you know why you have to be gowned up and what the patient, um, what you're doing with the patient and what exactly it is that they have going on to why you have to put on the PPE. Okay, so at this point, I would go into the room um, introduce myself, make sure that I check their band, let them know why I'm there, do the procedure that I have to do, whether it just be to give them a cup of water or brush their teeth or brush their hair. Even if they press the call light and they need me to go in there, I do have to be suited up just to go in the room. Anytime I go inside the room that needs PPE, you have to do it the correct way. Um, after I tell the patient whatever I need to tell him or her and do whatever I need to do in the room, this is when I would step to the side and um, start un start unsuiting. 
I will make sure to start with my gloves. Now, it's very important to remember that if it's something airborne, you have to wear the mask until you're outside of the room. That's something, <clears throat> excuse me, that's something to keep in mind that the mask, even though we're taking it off, it is the last thing that comes off just because of that. Okay, so we will start with our gloves. The way you take your, the way you remove your gloves is just like this. You pull it off like that. You kind of want to make it into a little crumble like this. And then through the inside without touching the outside. It's a little hard because my sweater is a little thick, but this is how you would do it. Okay. The gloves would come off just like that. Then you would discard them. You would then go to your gown. First, you take it off your neck. There you go. Then you take it off your back. Well, when you take it off your neck, the gown should fall onto you. I'm just gonna touch it, but I'm verbalizing that you're not supposed to touch it. This is not gonna come off because it's a really thick sweater. But once you take it off from your neck, the gown should fall like this. And then you take it, you already unbuckled it from your back. So then you start taking it off like this. Make sure that you grab it from the inside only. Do not grab the outside. And then just fold it up like this. And um, there will be gowns, there will be a trash can designated for this. So you go ahead and you throw it in the trash can like that. Make sure that you don't wiggle it or anything. Just take it off just like I did it and fold it. Make sure that you grab it only from the inside. Okay, then after, after the gown, after the gown, my husband was just about to come in and mess up my video. After you do the gown um, and you let it fall, then that's when you take off your uh, your goggles, which is my glasses, but I'm gonna leave them on because I can't really see. So you will take off your, um, your goggles or your face shield. There you go. And then last but not least, like I said, I was verbalizing that the whole time I had on my mask, but I wasn't gonna be able to talk properly. So then at the end, um, if it's like I said, if it's an airborne, you must take your mask until you're outside of the room completely. And the way you do that is just you untie it from the back. You move it away from your face just like that. Then you let it go. You discard it. It's really important not to touch the outside of the mask. Anything that you're taking off once you're done and you've been in an isolated room, you must touch only the inside. Um, that's the only thing that's clean. So that's something really important to practice. Um, after you take this off, you throw it away. And like I said, if it's a, an airborne that you were in there for, make sure that you wait until you're outside. And if it's not, you could take it off inside, but just make sure that you know what it is that you went in there for. You wanna be always really cautious. Um, after I'm done with that, everything is in the trash can. I go ahead and perform hand hygiene and that is how you would complete the proper PPE of putting on and taking off. Thank you.